you're thinking about moving to Lake Forest, a lot of times when people hear about Orange County, they hear about those big cities, um, Irvine, Huntington Beach, Newport Beach, Laguna, but not a lot of people know about Lake Forest. So I'm going to give you everything you need to know about this amazing, awesome city named Lake Forest, and we're gonna get to it right now. Hey, what's up you guys? If you're new to this channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so that you are notified every time a new video comes out about Orange County, California. Everything from eating, sleeping, playing, beaches, tanning, you will get notified on. My name is Latrice DeLuna and we get emails and text messages every day from people just like you looking to make the move to Orange County and we absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to move in 10 days or 10 months, please reach out to us, send us an email, shoot us a text. We would be happy to help you make a smooth transition to Orange County, California. So I'm going to get into this video. It's all about Lake Forest. Um, and we're going to start off with a tour. I'm going to tour you guys. We're going to go through one of the older neighborhoods of Lake Forest so that you guys can get a little lay of the land. And then we'll end up at one of the community centers where we'll talk a little bit about Orange County Lake or Lake Forest in Orange County. And then if you stick around to the end, we'll take another driving tour of two of the newer communities located right here in Lake Forest. So let's get to it. All right, so let's get started touring this older neighborhood in Lake Forest. So this particular neighborhood is located right across from the lake. So you can walk to the lake in the community center. Um, we're right here on the corner in the neighborhood on the corner of Geronimo and Lake Forest. And as you see, the homes are older. These homes were built in 1978, 1979. And I mean, to be honest, the neighborhood is super cute. They keep up their homes and, you know, depending on which part of Lake Forest you go in, you're gonna see that a lot of these older neighborhoods, they keep up the homes, they maintain them. The homes are cute. The community itself has about five different models. So you'll start to see as we drive through, some of the homes start to look very similar. Definitely different front yards. Some have grass, some have turf, some have um, you know the water resistant or the drought resistant plants, but they all do start to look a little similar. And that's just because there's five models. But for these homes that are a little bit older here in Lake Forest, the best part about them, you can, if you find a home, you can get them at a decent price. Right now, you can get a really nice size home for a very, very decent price. 25, 2,700 square feet, um, big lot, 5,000, 6,000 square foot lots, and you're gonna pay at the most in this neighborhood about 1.2. Um, and that's just really the good thing about being on this part of Lake Forest. You get a really good neighborhood, you get a really good school district, and you get a lot of lot, a lot of land. Um, when you go to these newer communities, you're just not getting as much land anymore. So let's continue touring this community so that you guys can take a look. And then we will end up at the community center where we'll talk a lot about Lake Forest and what it has to offer. So we're getting ready. Oh, a fun fact about this particular neighborhood, it's all bird streets. So every single street in this neighborhood is named after a bird. So uh, that's really fun. Lake Forest has a couple of different things like that. They have the bird streets and then they also have the girl streets, which all the homes are named after girls. So, okay, I will see you guys at the community center. Let's go ahead and get straight to it. We are talking about Lake Forest today and I personally love Lake Forest because I live here. Lake Forest is one of those cities that not a lot of people know about before they actually move here to Orange County. I personally never knew about Lake Forest. I knew about all those bigger cities, you know, Newport, Huntington, Irvine, but didn't know much about Lake Forest. So when uh, my husband and I decided that we wanted to lay roots somewhere, we dug really hard and we ended up here in Lake Forest. So Lake Forest, it is surrounded by Irvine, the hills, so we have the foothills um, at the edge of, of Lake Forest. Then we have Mission Viejo and Laguna Hills. So we are surrounded kind of by a lot of the awesome cities in South Orange County. And we pretty much, we're not huge. So we have a population of 85,000 people. And really to get to us, if you look at the map, 
you take the five freeway and we have two freeways actually we have the 241 and we have the five and so the five you can exit three exits to, to be in lake forest so you have bake lake forest and el toro and actually fun fact lake forest used to be named el toro because it was the el toro marine base and a lot of the marines actually lived here in lake forest before um they closed down that base so um, those are the ways to get here. So you have the five freeway. And like I said, you have Bake, you have Lake Forest, you have El Toro. And then the other way that people get here is through the toll road. And that toll road would be the 241. And that goes through the foothills, uh, which I feel like is the edge of Lake Forest. So Lake Forest all, and all of its awesomeness. One of the great things that I love about us is that we are so diverse here. There's so much diversity in Lake Forest. You have very, so many cultures, ethnicities, people, mixed couples um, that all live right here in Lake Forest. Now, Lake Forest is kind of divided. We have the older part of Lake Forest, which was a lot of the homes that were, when I say born, it were born in like the 1970s. You'll see homes that are about 1970, 1975, 1978. And a lot of those homes are more of the older parts of Lake Forest. But then we have our newer parts of Lake Forest. And those were those are Foothill Ranch, Portolas Hills, and Baker Ranch. Baker Ranch is probably about, what are we, 2021. So it's about six years old. Um, a lot of the homes in Baker Ranch uh, started being built in about 2015. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful, uh, and it's very, very close to Foothill Ranch. Foothill Ranch was developed in the early 90s. Um, one of the great things about Foothill Ranch is that it's kind of its own little city. Um, although it's technically Lake Forest, it is its own little entity. So it has amazing shopping, and not like, like mall shopping, but like all your stores, your Walmarts, your Targets, it has a movie theater, it has eateries, it has your Michaels, your jo your Joann's, um, fast food, restaurants, um, everything you can think of. It's kind of located in that Foothill Ranch Town Center. Um, so you can kind of get there. And I would say Lake Forest isn't very big. And I'm just going to turn this way because the sun is starting to shine a little bit. Um, so Lake Forest isn't that big so you could get to foothill ranch and the other side of lake forest i would say within a five to ten well not five but a 10 minute drive i would say um another fun fact about lake forest is that if you are in some of those older communities that i was referring to then you have access to two man-made lakes i'm actually standing outside of the sun and cell community center which is our lake two man-made lake and the cool thing about it is that there are homes that surround the lake. The community centers also have some amazing, amazing features. They have multiple pools. Uh, this one here has one, two, three, four pools. One of those include a kiddie pool, plus a jacuzzi, plus a sauna, plus a gym. They have all kinds of activities during the holidays. Um, we just celebrated like a Halloween event here. They had a really big Halloween event that's free if you live within this HOA. Um, the HOA is super inexpensive. So depending on what part of Lake Forest you live in, you could pay as low as $71 a month for the HOA. Um, but the cool thing is people actually live around the lake. So I'm going to turn here so you guys can see. There's the lake behind. And if you can see, you also have people's homes. They have their boats. So one of my friends actually lives on the other lake, which is the beach and tennis club. Um, they live on the lake, so they have a boat. And so a cool thing is that the preschool that our kids go to is on the lake. So instead of driving over to pick up his daughter, he actually takes the boat. He took the boat over, picked his daughter up from preschool and had all the kids wanting to go on the boat, which is awesome, awesome in and of itself. Um, another great thing about Lake Forest is just the camaraderie. You have so much camaraderie here. I can't tell you how many people just speak and are so friendly and just lovely people um, through and through. Neighbors, people that you see at the gyms, people that you see in the grocery stores. I mean, we're all, they're all friendly. We, we are all friendly here in Lake Forest. Um, there are some new communities that are being built in Lake 
forest. One of them just, they're still actually finishing construction, Serrano Summit. And one of the newest communities, which I have a video. So go and look at the video. It's called The Meadows. It's a, uh, the developer is Toll Brothers, which is one of my favorite developers. And they are building The Meadows, which is going to be a luxury community right here in Lake Forest. So lots of value. Also in Portola Hills, lots of new builds in Portola Hills from 2020, 2019. They have some amazing, the Oaks, the Oaks is amazing. It is a luxury community. It is gorgeous. It is beautiful. It's affordable. One of the great things about Lake Forest, and actually I've had lately, especially with the pandemic um, occurring, a lot of the people who are moving here to Lake Forest are actually coming from Irvine. And it's for a couple of reasons. Um, one big one being you're going to get a bigger lot of land here in Lake Forest for a more affordable price. So we have more, I mean, it's not a huge, huge difference, but it definitely makes a difference. Our housing is more affordable here in Lake Forest and you're going to get bigger lot sizes with that. And we don't have all of the crazy mellow roofs that Irvine has. So we do have mellow roofs here. It depends on the community that you live in and whatnot, but we don't have all the crazy mellow roofs and the expensive mellow roofs that they have in Irvine. So a lot of people like the fact that they can move into a newer development here and or get a bigger plot of land here for a cheaper price and they don't have to pay the crazy taxes that you might have to be paying over in Irvine. Um, food, delicious. We have some delicious food here in Lake Forest, some delicious restaurants here in Lake Forest. Um, one of them being the Greek Bistro. If you like Mediterranean food, the Greek Bistro is going to be delicious. Oh my goodness, their baklava is so good, amazing. Um, you will love it. If you like Salvadorian food, um, pupusas. Pupusas, oh my gosh, they, they are not the best for your health but it is okay to enjoy and indulge every so often. So we have the Pupusaria, I don't know if I say it right, the Pupusaria San Sivar, uh, located on Geronimo. They have Salvadorian food, they have all the pupusas, the different types that you could possibly imagine. Um, I'm a plantain fan, so they give me my plantains with some eggs and some rice and some beans. Um, so I can get down with some Salvadorian breakfast for sure. Another place, if you um, just kind of want to hang out, have a really sexy and cool ambiance, um, another place is Brew. Brew is, they have good food, they have great music, the ambiance is just really sexy, date night. Um, you can take your kids there too, but date night, it would be really nice to just kind of get out, have some live music playing. I know the owner, the owner is amazing, Matt and his family, they're, they're super amazing and very welcoming and just a very cool and down-to-earth environment. Um, another place is Brizio's. If you like pizza, then we have Brizio's, uh, which is like pizza and pasta. Um, definitely good food, very quick. They get you in and out very quickly and it's located right on Lake Forest Boulevard. Um, and then I would say the last place I would mention if you live in Lake Forest, then you definitely know of Bagels and Brew. That's a breakfast spot. You'll go there, have some coffee, and they have every kind of bagel you could possibly imagine um, with anything you could possibly imagine on it. So they are a lovely breakfast spot for sure. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, you guys. Lake Forest is gorgeous. We do, oh, so one of the reasons why we are named Lake Forest is because we have a ton of eucalyptus trees. So there's times where you're driving through Lake Forest and you're just like, man, it really does look like a forest. And it does, it does, it definitely does. And that's just because um, there were a lot of eucalyptus trees that were planted back in the 70s. And so it has that foresty look and it definitely doesn't look like your typical Orange County. But again, I love it, I like it. We do have some hiking trails. We have Whiting Ranch, um, which is backed up to the hills, the foothills which you can go hiking over there. And then we have some great views of the foothills, um, one of them being Saddleback Valley. So we have some amazing stuff here in Lake Forest um, and employment is important as well. So we do have some bigger companies that do have their headquarters right on over here in Lake Forest. And so I'm gonna show you that list right now so you can take a look at some of the major companies that are here. So if you want to know more about Lake Forest or you have 
some fun facts about Lake Forest or you live here and you want to let people know about this amazing city, put, the, put that in the comments below. We'd love to talk to you guys about Lake Forest and everything that it has to offer. All right, until next time, you guys, see you later. All right, here we go. So now that you've seen the lake and we talked about everything there is to know about Lake Forest, now we're gonna go and tour one of our newer communities. Not necessarily the newest community, but one of our newer communities. And this community is called Baker Ranch. And so the community of Baker Ranch was built in about 2015, 2016. And as you can tell, it just looks newer, right? We have the greenery. One of the wonderful things about this community is that there's so many parks, parks and walking distance that you can get to very easily. Um, another great thing about this community, it is right down the street from a lot of the amenities. So the Foothill uh, Ranch Town Center is right up the way. So you can get to the grocery store, Target, Walmart, In-N-Out, um, the movie theater, different eateries, Hobby Lobby, Michael's, Joann's, everything is like so, so close, about a mile away, if that, from this particular community. And so, as you see here, we're turning into this particular, or we're turning into this street, and this, this side of Baker Ranch has your single family detached homes. A good thing about Baker Ranch, though, is that, you know, a lot of the homes, or a lot of the areas, aren't necessarily just single family detached. So you have your condos, you have attached condos, uh, type of homes on the other side, which makes it good because different people can live in this type of community who have different levels of affordability. So if you see here, you have these single family detached homes. And one of the things you'll notice that is different from when we were touring the older community is that the yard size. The lot sizes in these communities are definitely a lot smaller than the yard sizes in the older community. So you don't get as much lot, as much yardage. Um, you know, some of these homes you will get a decent sized lot, but you're paying for it. So these homes are probably going from about 1.3, 1.4 to about 2.3, 2.4 million dollars, depending on the size of the home, the size of the lot. Whereas before in that older community, you are gonna be looking to pay about 1.15, 1.2 max for the homes in that community. So definitely a different price point for sure, um, but you're getting newer things for it. You're getting amenities as well. You're getting parks, whereas in the older communities, it's, you don't find a park that you can walk to. You definitely have to drive over to the, the parks to get there, depending on which community that you're in. So let's finish this up and then we'll head over to another newer community newer than 1978 but definitely older than baker ranch and that community is foothill ranch so we'll get there in just a little bit here okay so here we are getting ready to drive into the very last community that i will be showing you guys today and that is foothill ranch so foothill ranch it's older than baker ranch but newer than the older part of Lake Forest that I showed you guys at the beginning of this video. So Foothill Ranch was built in about the mid 1990s, so 1996. And if you see already, um, we're kind of going up into the foothills, hence Foothill Ranch. And so one of the great things about Foothill Ranch is that it has some wonderful, gorgeous views if you get one of the homes that are up on the hill and have a little bit more elevation than the other homes. You'll also notice too that you're gonna get more lot size here in Foothill Ranch. The homes are going to be a little bit more sizable. And I guess the homes aren't sizable, but the lot sizes are bigger than what you get over in Baker Ranch. And these look like your typical 1990 homes here. They don't look super old, but they definitely don't look as new as, as, Baker, as the Baker Ranch community but lots of cul-de-sacs over here. And if you see the sun is setting, so it's gorgeous. But lots of, um, oh, look at that house right there. Something happened there. I wonder what's going on there. But um, the homes here, nice sizes for sure. And in, over here, you're gonna be kind of across the board. It depends on the size of the house that you get, but you're probably going to be in about the 1.2 to 1.6, $1.7 million range that 
million dollar range is going to be for a very very big home with a very very big lot with the pool has the works upgraded and everything but you can get a nice decent sized home here in foothill ranch for about 1.3 million dollars i'm just going to drive through the neighborhood so that you guys get a good sense and really that's it i just wanted to show you guys the neighborhoods you've toured now three different neighborhoods in the side of Lake Forest so that you can get a sense of what Lake Forest has to offer. So if you guys have any questions, please remember, don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can call us, you can text us, you can email us. We will be happy to help you make your smooth move here to Orange County and specifically here to Lake Forest. So enjoy the rest of the tour. I'll see you guys next time.